What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 5 is Finland. In the previous part we sell our very first city of Helsinki and now we're scouting the continent that we're on. I got some pretty great tips uh, including on where to settle. Um, someone suggested the exact spot that I had in mind which, which was between the wine and the bison. I mean it's a pretty good spot. You got some great luxuries. You've got a mountain there or a hill there. Uh, some nice fishies as well. I mean that that's pretty good. And someone said that I should probably settle uh, around here as well to get the truffles and all that. Like, it's a pretty good spot, you know. There's marble and there's a lot of truffles. Uh, the only downside, really, is the amount of tundra there. Because, like I said, tundra is kind of sucky. So, uh, but I probably will, though. Um, and then, someone told me to, uh, to um, scout around more and try more specifically to find ruins. Um, obviously, you have no control over what you find, but if I do find ruins, um, I need to get them because they can give me a very pretty important boost. All right, we will be buddies uh, for now. I will eventually, however, uh, probably try to murder you. So, you know, keep that in mind, buddy. And we got sailing, which means that we can now actually get the fish that we've been looking at and the whales as well. Uh, which is something that we will need if we are to make our um, our second city Just for that bit of happiness. Um, I'm thinking the first spot that I settle Will uh, most likely be over here because this is pretty much my favorite spot for a second city uh, This one will be the third one and in terms of a fourth one I'm not entirely sure it also largely depends on what Brazil will do. Uh, I mean they're the only people around me and if they make a choice to settle like in this area or whatever, I most likely will not get too close to him because that will upset the guy. Helsinki wants sugar. All right. Well, I don't have any, so that's a bummer for you, man. Wine and incense. Um. All right. So what we want most of all, obviously, is is faith. Tundra tiles with no forest. We have none of that. Um, the gold and silver don't have any. If there was one for truffles, that'd be pretty good. I mean, there, I know that there is one for extra food from camps. That would be a pretty good one, but, you know, it's not entirely perfect. Uh, gems and pearls, don't have any of those. Wine and incense, don't have any. So, this is actually a pretty tricky one. Seeing as we don't have any super obvious ones, we do have... a lot of truffles, like I already said, but that one is taken. Fishing boats could be... Pretty okay, but that really is not like a super big thing. Although we will have, I'd say at least five fishing boats eventually if we settle over here as well. We got the whales, fish, fish, fish. Um, so that could be an option, although it's not the best. Uh, Sides and cities with a city connection. I mean, it's not really what we need right now, and in the end, it will not really make that much of a difference. Uh, happiness. Bananas, citrus, and wheat. We don't have any of that either. We have very little, is what I, what, what I just realized. Uh, so the best one might be, I think for us, fertility rights maybe for the food. Um, or the one with production from fishing boats. But, you know, production, uh, at least in my mind, is definitely not as important as food. Uh, because having more food will eventually lead to more production anyway. Um, so that should be fine. I think I will go with that one. We don't have any plantations. This one, useless. That one, I mean, it's not useless, but we're not going to need it. This one, not going to need it, not going to need it. Plantations, we will not have any. Gold and silver, don't have it. Faster border growth is okay, but we have a lot of culture anyway. Not really necessary. Jungle tiles, don't have any. A little bit of happiness. I'm just, like, for the first time, like, ever, I am having a pretty tough choice picking one, but I think I'll just go with the fertility rides and just get that extra food. Yeah. Let's just go with that one. I mean, we don't really have any other options, so... Right now, that boost is, is not that large, but eventually it should get a, a bit better. Uh, once we get more, you know, food buildings and stuff like that. And right now, it's pretty okay. It's just, it's nothing major, you know. If we were to have a lot of silver around or anything like that, then it would be super awesome, you know? Having a, uh, a religion like that, but right now, we're kinda 
in a sucky situation. So faith most likely will not be uh, my most important area to focus on. I'm actually, I think I will just leave the scout here for now. Uh, at least until we have optics and... All right, work boat or settler first. I think we might as well just get the settler out of the way. I mean, we're still producing, I know that, but... Uh, let's see. I mean, I would rather have an extra production than one culture, I think. So I'll just go with that for now. Uh, bronze working, all right, calendar. Stoneworks are pretty cool, but we don't have any stone nearby, so... Not exactly very beneficial. I think I'll just go with trapping so that we can actually get a circus because of the horses and so we can get a camp on the um, the truffles that we have. So I'll just start with that for now. And then after the worker is done, I will... Uh, Alright, so I'm going to send you back for now until I get optics. Yep, see this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. I knew that this was a pretty okay spot to settle and that's exactly what uh, Brazil decided to do. Not a massive surprise to me. A great library was made. It's turn 47. Normally, or well, not really normally, but sometimes you will see people making it in like turn 30. So, I I think this is pretty slow for a normal game. Maybe it's like even faster on Immortal. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it took him a while to do this. Um, all right, so we could get a pester for the sheep or we could get the horses and just, you know, get that out of the way. Uh, might as well do that then. Alright, let's go over there. Make sure the scout's not in trouble. And we're going to make a settler. And then while the settler is moving towards this area with the warrior, uh, we can get a fishing boat, get the whales. Just get that out of the way. Happiness should be fine at that point. Um, feel pretty good about this. Alright, not very literate right now. Tripping is done. So, well, you know, seeing as it is done, we might as well just set up that camp and just get that happiness out of the way and then the all right uh so we should have some extra happiness as soon as the um the fishing boat is set up i'm gonna go with optics right now because i really want to be able to scout more you know see more of the world find ruins wherever they are i mean there's probably still some left and um also just see more of the world i mean that's that's pretty important stuff and i just want to Get that out of the way. I know that there's probably at least one other sieve on this island with um, with the Incas, so that would be a good place to start. Except there are ruins there that I really want to grab. All right, monarchy. Happiness is looking a bit better. We could obviously settle right now with the four happiness, but that would probably go away very quickly. Um, so I do think that it was a good decision to get the luxury resources, like the troubles and the whales. You know, just get that out of the way. And when it's done, not only do I get more money, but I also um, have the happiness that I need to continue growing. All right, borders have grown. Religion was founded. We only get one thingy per turn, which isn't that good. One faith per turn. Um, so we should definitely think about getting a temple uh, probably pretty soon, I think. Alright, so that's done. I'll actually... I could jump down the forest, actually. Which might not actually even lead to any... ...downsides. I think the production of the tile would remain largely the same. If not entirely. Let's give that a shot. Let's just see what it's like. Oh, okay, we'll replace the... Okay. So you need a forest or your truffles are gone is basically what they're saying. Um, you know, fair enough. And good news, both of our units, the warrior and the scout, uh, will be able to embark in one more turn. Sedan wants horses. That's actually really good for me. Because I'm about to get some. Yeah, uh, people already suggested setting up a, a nice friendship with those people. See, they're suggesting the exact two spots I had in mind. This one actually not so much because this looks pretty sucky. I think I would actually settle here myself. Although it wouldn't really matter that much and this would give us access to the ocean. But I don't know. I, I think I just really am, am biased to uh, look for, for cities that have a river. 
next to them. All right, so you go. This guy will uh, embark and look for new places. And we will slowly make our way towards... Um, well, obviously, we want philosophy. I think that might be, the, might be the best to start with. So let's just start with Kellner for now. Uh, lighthouse, we have one fish, but a lighthouse is really going to give you some pretty great benefits. So, yeah, we got the truffles anyway. Let's start with a lighthouse and then we'll get the fishing boats after. I mean, a lighthouse is just such a major improvement. And for some weird reason, it's it's a building that I largely ignored when I started playing the game. And even very long after that, I always thought, you know, it's not that good. But fish are extremely valuable um, when you have a lighthouse. They just become amazing sources of food and production as well. I think you got some production, so... I think it'd be pretty stupid to not make a lighthouse at this point. Especially with the two sea resources we have. Um, that would just not really make sense to me, so we'll set that up. Then I'll get a fishing boat. Yep, let's do that. You and I, man, we are totally buddies right now. And I am not scared of you. All right, borders have grown. Uh, all right, keep it going. So, you know, with our second city on the way, my biggest priority will be the National College for sure. Because that is, like, the best way to, um... To get some nice science. All right, here we go. We made it to the ruin. I am very curious as to what we will find in there. Uh, one, two, three. All right, so eventually this city will have three fishies. If we settle on this hill. We could also settle here. Um, but I like hills. You know, what can I say? Hill cities are, are just cool looking. Sweet, we got the wheel for free. So people were absolutely right in that uh, ruins can be very, very useful. Definitely. All right, let's get that lighthouse out of the way. We definitely want that. Um, all right, so we're about to make our second city. First things first, we'll probably make a granary. Um, I'm thinking like I could get philosophy, but it wouldn't really benefit me right away. Um, so I think I'll go with bronze working. See if there's any iron nearby. I want to try and, and be a little bit smarter with my uh, my technologies as well. And, you know, when I choose which one. All right, Riga. Met them. What's up, buddies? This is a sweet little island you got here. I'm pretty jealous right now. Uh, yep, let's get the deer. Met Riga. Sedan is happy with my horses, so they will give me a military unit, and if I get... Okay, I don't have the money to become their ally right now, but if we set up a trade route, they're going to be super thankful. So, there we go. Boom. T Tur Turku. Turku has been uh, made. Absolutely great tile right there. Two food, one production, one culture. I love that. That's super nice. And getting a trade route from here to Sedan should be no problem whatsoever, and it comes with uh, very little risk, so... I have to say I'm pretty happy with that. So Sana will not provide me with food. Granary will. Um, Alright, this is a tricky one. Seeing as we do have two tiles that have good uh, food, and we have some fish nearby. So I think a granary would not be the most important thing right now, although the deer tile would be more effective, so that would be... That would be a lot of food per turn. Although, two culture and happiness and faith is also nice. I think I'll start with the granary. Food is always super important, especially with a smaller city. You want them growing nice and quick. And I think this should be the way to go about it. Um, but we also definitely do want a library there so we can set up our national college. Alright, well, we've seen everything that Riga has to offer. Which is uh, not very much. They have some some whales, but I have my own whales, so I don't exactly care. Um, Alright, let's see. See, that's awesome. That is some really, really good stuff. We do want to get the whales. We have a lot of great options right now, all of which I'm a big fan of, but I think we should get the whales out of the way. 
Because we definitely do need those. Alright. Now we can see everything over there. Uh, you. Alright, just improve the deer. Uh, we will eventually get a, a little road going here. But this is good. Helsinki would be very annoying for the enemy to take as well. And I think the same goes for for Turku with all these, these forests and stuff. I mean, it would be pretty tough to shoot that city in a uh, in a good way. Alright, set that up for the bit of uh, extra production. That's good. Bronze working is almost done. I am pretty sure there will not be any iron, although there could be some... I don't know, in this area maybe. I would not be surprised. Yep, here you go. Two iron over there. And we did not get any over here, but th there is another two over there. And another two, so... Settling on this spot just became even more attractive to me for all the iron that we are going to get. Um, all right, misery. I think I'll just start with philosophy, seeing as I really want to be able to get the National College as soon as possible. And they already made a third city, Salvador. But at least it looks like they'll stick to the so uh, southern part of this continent, which is good for me, because he could have uh, send a guy over here and settled my spot, but he did not. So, pretty grateful that he didn't. And I guess this means that m maybe I won't have to fight him to the death after all. I mean, we'll see. It's a, it's a tricky one. Also, I could still steal Sedan's um, worker, although I'm not sure that I want to. Because I would feel a little guilty if I did. All right, workboat. Yep, improve that. Extra food for the city. This tile is even more amazing now. Thank you, lighthouse. And then, let's see. Actually, we could trade with Sedan. If we got a cargo ship, we could just send that all the way to Sedan. Or to, to our new city with food, which is also... Something we need to do, but having Sedan as an ally could be pretty valuable. They would give me gems and more units, so... Either way, I think we should go with a cargo ship. And then, depending on how much food I could send to my new city, I will make my choice there. But having an alliance with Sedan would be... That would be pretty good stuff. Because they give me gems. They might have more luxury resources, although I very much doubt it. I don't really see anything. Um, but there could be pearls over here, or wills, or whatever. I mean, you don't know. Why do you have a catapult, man? I mean, I know that he's not planning on killing me, but still. That's some pretty freaky stuff right there. Alright, so we have about ten turns to get the... Um... The granary. And the food is already pretty much drying up over here, so I think we should maybe even get, just get two cargo ships, send food over there, and then trade with Sedan as well for the money and the uh, relationship there. I don't want this quest to disappear. I don't know if they ever do actually, but if, they, if, it, if it were to disappear, I'd be pretty upset, so... I want to be their bud, is what I want. Um... I don't like these tiles very much. We definitely want to get some farms set up where we can. Although a lot of this stuff is heals. So... we Basically, ideally, we would get three. Um, hello, thank you. Give me a spearman. Is it perfect? No, but it's free, so I'll take it. Um, ideally, we would actually get three cargo ships. And we would uh, trade with Sedan and then send food both to and from these two cities. And thereby grow a lot quicker. But I'm not entirely sure how feasible that is, seeing as we only have room for two right now. And I do want Sedan on my side. Alright, let's keep it going. We basically want to get to the... Um, Inca continent, and also this spearman will go to the capital so that I don't have to pay maintenance for him. Because they might look cheap, but they're pretty expensive. Alright, I am pretty busy. I'd say that that is good. 
Just going around. Don't don't mind me. All right, so we're looking at either. All right, cargo ship. Eight, eight, eight gold per turn, which is very, very good, or seven extra food to that city. What I'll do is I'll tr send this one to Sedan. And as I discussed, I'll just make a second one. And I will send food with that over to, uh, to Turku. I, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm going to have to look this up right after this video because I... This is going to bother me, I can tell. It's kind of weird because it looks like it, it looks like turkey or something and it's, it's not so it's kind of strange all right 68 so they will be my ally for a little bit and now stupid um, Brazil's in my way I don't like that very much we're gonna have to deal with that um I think I'll just go around or I might get open borders but that would be that would cost me some money anyway I'm gonna leave it here for this part I hope you guys enjoyed I think we got some pretty good stuff done and in the next part, we will most likely try to get the National College and um, think about selling our third city as well, just to get that out of the way and just be done with it. So, um, yeah, if you, have, if you have any more useful tips or anything you would like to, for me to take into account, then be sure to leave a comment down below. I really appreciated the support in the last part. There were a lot of likes, which I really liked. And um, a lot of great comments, a lot of people weighing in and also supporting their country of Finland. Which, obviously, you know, you should do. Because Finland is is great. I don't know anything about Finland. But, you know, they seem like a pretty cool sieve in this game. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you later.